Hey everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be my review of a brand new Jaclyn Cosmetics holiday collection. I am so freaking excited for this collection. I've been following along on Instagram as we got all the sneak peeks, and all of the products are revealed over on Instagram. I will link the Jaclyn Cosmetics Instagram down below in the description box. Also, I got my nails done, you guys. This is my first time having nails in, like... A year almost and I did like a silver glitter super fun I'm going to Ali's wedding this weekend and I thought these would be cute and I also thought that they were really cute with like the packaging like hello her dress are you kidding me so yeah <laughs> um, they did send this to me in PR I'm pretty sure the collection launches early next week but I will check that information right now so this is the holiday collection and it launches on October 17th which is actually this Sunday and it will be on JacquelineCosmetics.com. I'll have the link down below in case you stumble upon this video post launch um, and I have a list of all the products with descriptions and prices I also see that they are gonna have bundles so I'll go over the bundle pricing and like the value uh, their bundles are a better deal if you you know buy the bundle so <laughs> um, I'll go through all of that information but let's go ahead and take a peek at the package we have this gorgeous little piece of paper I'm literally like look at this gorgeous piece of paper <laughs> <laughs> um, but it says, I am so excited to share the holiday collection with you guys. I wanted to bring in a sexy holiday vibe to switch things up a little bit. A mix of naughty and nice, if you will. These formulas are so gorgeous and so unique. Just like you, this holiday, you are the present. XO Jacqueline. Super cute. Um, she always has cute little sayings like that. I actually don't have like a card, like an info card. Um, but here is what the PR package looks like, you guys. Oh my goodness, there is so much in here. There are a ton of lip products. It looks like we have liquid lips, lip glosses, lip liners potentially. I'm not even like too sure yet. Uh, we have a face palette, a primer, and then these are all like these really shimmery eyeshadow looking things. So let's dive in. So I thought a lot about how to organize this video and I think I decided we're just gonna go product by product and do like swatches, application, first impressions all at once and then at the end of the video I will come back with my final thoughts on the collection overall. So we're gonna start off with primer. This is so exciting that we have a Jaclyn Cosmetics primer. This is the Skin Perfecting Oil Primer and it has a little bit of a pinkiness to it. I don't know if you guys you can see that right there. I like that the bottle is like an ombre frost. Very nice packaging. And you can see that the oil itself is actually pink because when I tip it upside down, the bottle is clear. So uh, this retails for $34. And like I said, this is the Skin Perfecting Oil Primer. And this says prep, prime, and nourish skin for a radiant lit from within glow. Wear alone or under makeup for a natural dewy finish. <laughs> so I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not gonna, you know, we'll see how it goes. I don't have too high of an expectation for this just because I typically don't use oils because I have more oily skin, but we're gonna try this out on half of my face and then we're just not gonna use any primer on the other half. So we'll see the difference if there is one. Um, it has a little like, you know, dropper type applicator. So I'm just gonna grab a couple drops. I don't have like a box that tells me like how many to use. So we'll just do like two drops <laughs> and I'll put the oil on this side over here. It smells really good. It smells like kind of like rose hip oil. It's not like rose the fragrance. Um, it just I have like a rose hip oil from another brand and this is like exactly what it smells like. So I'm just going to apply this onto my skin feels really nice i wonder if this will soak up into my skin that's what i'm hoping will happen and that it doesn't just like sit on top because i do like hydrating primers i just don't typically use like face facial oils so this is something new for me i really do like the packaging though i think it's really cute and definitely fits the vibe of the collection um so now i'm gonna go ahead and go in with foundation i'm gonna use the huda beauty faux filter stick foundation in the shade chai i'm also just gonna pop on some concealer and 
I'll do some powder as well and bronzer <laughs> and brows oh my goodness um, I'm just gonna basically do all of my makeup up until the next step which will be using the palette which I am so excited about this palette look how beautiful it is this has uh, blush and highlight in it so I'll be back once my makeup is done up until the point that I need it to be done. Okay, so this is after immediate application. I thought I would pop in really quick and I can definitely see a difference in the finish of my foundation. So this is the side that has the primer oil on it and you can see we have a nice sheen. On this side, we might have like the slightest bit of sheen if I catch the light, the right light, but you can definitely see it a lot better on this side. I just thought I would show you guys before I go in with like concealer and powder just because um, I don't know if you'll still be able to see that afterwards, but I can definitely see a difference and my skin doesn't look overly oily right now. It looks actually really nice and healthy and glowy, uh, but I know if I just left it like this, my oil would be out of control. So I'm going to go ahead, set my face with powder, do what I said I was going to do, and then I will be back to move on to the palettes. All right, you guys, I am back. I used concealer, powder, bronzer. For bronzer, I went in with the Jaclyn Cosmetics Pink Me Up and Oh Honey Duo. This one is my favorite. I love this blush and bronzer. My favorite duo by far. The bronzer is just so perfect. <laughs> so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to this palette right here. This is the Winter Sun palette. It's very reflective, so I'm trying to get it so you can kind of see. It has like a black label kind of here. It's like paint splatter, and then it's a silver metallic. I've already got fingerprints all over it. But here is what the inside looks like. It is absolutely stunning. It looks like we have one blush and two highlighters. And I don't know if these are like a new formula or what, but I am so excited. So this palette is gonna retail for $38 and it says this cream to powder trio. Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say, I swatched these and they did not feel familiar to me as like formula wise. So I was like, these actually feel kind of creamy. Like it's not very powdery and it wasn't like a ton of product removed onto my finger when I swatched it. I was like, that's kind of odd. Definitely a unique formula. Um, and it says this cream to powder trio delivers ultimate frost yourself goals perfect for layering and taking it with you on the go so we're gonna go into the blush and I'm gonna be using my f24 <laughs> from blinged brushes uh, you guys can use code page for 10% off this is my collaboration with them I will have them linked down below um, and this is just an angled brush we're gonna tap in there is kind of a bit of kick up um, so just keep that in mind. I don't know how intense this is gonna be. Oh, I didn't even show you guys the swatches up close. Here are the swatches. We have the lighter highlighter, the more golden highlighter, and then the blush. So let's just, oh boy, that's more pigmented than I thought. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is intense. But it is so pretty. This is such a gorgeous peachy color. I love peachy blush, and this is definitely like a peachy pink kind of blush more on the peachy side <laughs> how many times can i say peachy um but a little bit goes a long way like holy moly i am just barely tapping into that and then knocking off the excess and you can still see how intense that pigmentation is that is so pretty and it looks beautiful on the skin it almost has like a soft like velvety look to it like finish wise it looks super like satiny on my skin it's really really pretty there is no glitter or anything um it just looks like a super soft matte finish well that is beautiful now i think i'm gonna go into the more goldeny highlighter and again there's like a little bit of kick up when i tap my brush in and then we're just gonna apply this oh my god look at how smooth that is that is stunning this is such a pretty color also like i love this undertone it's not too like chalky and bright this is perfect i am obsessed i'm just kind of going in little like circular motions oh, oh my gosh it looks so good on the skin up close as well this is so pretty i'm gonna go into the lighter one in a second but i'm just gonna kind of pop this all over my skin because I can't get enough. 
so i'm gonna tap into this like icier kind of color and just very lightly oh boy that was even like too much <laughs> very lightly hit the highest points like literally there's i didn't even tap back in i'm actually gonna tap some off and just really hit those high points oh my god this is so stunning i'm obsessed <laughs> this palette is so good so the shades are royal icing which is the lightest shade and then we have avalanche and then snow bunny the names are so cute definitely gives me holiday vibes here so um my camera battery is gonna die so i'm gonna go change that really quick and then we will be back for a bajillion lip swatches <laughs> next we have the pout spoken lip liners look at how cute these are i think the packaging is absolutely adorable you can see the color here on the end it has a really pretty silver cap and then there is the lip liner itself so there are four lip liners in this collection and they retail oh shoot i just it just went away. They retail for $18 and it says there are four matching shades to pair with our pout spoken liquid lipsticks for you to line and define your perfect pout with our signature super creamy high pigment pencil. So I did notice that the four shades of the lip liner are the same names as the four shades of the pout spoken liquid lips in the collection. So I think that's pretty cool. I noticed that as I was swatching these. Here are the swatches here. I will say the formula feels super creamy, super pigmented, and very beautiful. So um, I think we'll just do a little bit of an outline with the lip liner, and then we will finish it off with the liquid lip. So I'll do like a little pairing so that way I'm not like lip swatching the same color twice so I'll show you guys what the just the lip liner looks like and then I'll show you what the liquid lip looks like with it the liquid lipsticks retail for $20 and here is what they look like there we go super gorgeous packaging look at how pretty this looks with my nails <laughs> I'm obsessed same like shape of the tube as her other ones but definitely loving this like limited edition packaging so like i said here we have the four shades the first one here is called bow the second shade is called unwrap me so bow is more of like a true red i would say and then unwrap me has a little bit more cool tone to it like a little bit more blue uh but they're similar in depth uh unwrap me might be a little bit darker but they're pretty similar in depth one is just more warm toned and one is more cool toned the third one here is called flannel and this one is a pretty deep vampy color and i would call this more of like a berry red but it's still definitely a red color super pretty like that is gorgeous i'm typically not the biggest fan of reds so <laughs> we'll see how i like these colors on myself um and then this last one here is called stocking and i will say that the formula of this one felt a little bit drier than the other ones however the cap was off of the package when i received it like it was open so i don't know if that is why this formula felt a little bit drier when swatching it or if it's just like the deeper color you know alters the formula slightly but i just thought i would mention that um it's still super pigmented and creamy as you can see i just noticed it didn't glide quite as smoothly smoothly as the other ones did so just thought i would mention that so here are the four lip liner shades there are the swatches for you so we are going to start with bow this is why i don't wear red lipstick <laughs> My hand is like shaking because I'm so nervous. Okay, so here is my lip swatch of the lip liner in the shade Bow. Super pretty red. I feel like Christmas. <laughs> this is so pretty. I love this color red. This is a true red. And it's not even a super like fiery red. Like it still has a little bit of a cooler undertone to it. Uh, even though the following one is even cooler. Uh, like has more of a blue tone to it. This is so pretty. Like I am obsessed. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead and go in with the liquid lipstick in the shade Bow as well. 
and the liquid lipsticks retail for $20 and this says four new holiday shades of our best-selling long-wearing luxe matte color that stays put on your pelt so um, I will go ahead and swatch this like next to the lip liner so that you guys can see I'll show you a close-up at the end but let's go ahead I can already tell you the liquid lip looks to be pretty much the same color <laughs> as the lip liner my lips are gonna be so stained after this <laughs> I'm already ready uh, but here is the first shade bow super pigmented I feel like the liquid lip would look exactly the same without the lip liner that's just my opinion um, it's super opaque and it is a very very similar color uh, maybe like hmm it's hard to say <laughs> again I'll show you guys a close-up once I have swatched all of them but this is beautiful this red is fantastic I can tell you that I'm going to be reaching for this liquid lipstick several times throughout the holiday season I'm obsessed this is my favorite one already I can tell you this is gonna be my favorite red <laughs> so once again this is the shade bow this is gonna be real fun at least there's only four <laughs> liquid lips uh, but then we have four of a new formula I want to say this is the lip lacquer I think this is new uh, I think it's like a liquid lip or not a liquid lip a lipstick and a lip gloss hybrid type thing so uh, we have four of those once we finish the lip liner and liquid lip swatches here we have the next shade this is called unwrap me this is just the lip liner I feel like it looks slightly similar to the previous shade but like I said it has a little bit more of like a blue to it and it might be even like the tiniest bit deeper but it is so pretty I love these lip liners because they're like a like velvety matte finish but they're still super creamy when you're applying them like I honestly think that just wearing the lip liner alone is a really pretty look and um, I feel like you could totally do that like I definitely can see myself doing that because you still get that like I don't know it's just like a little bit less than a liquid lipstick uh, but of course liquid lipsticks are fantastic for darker shades because they dry down and they don't smudge and move all over the place so now we're gonna go into unwrap me the liquid lip and this looks definitely darker than the lip liner itself as I'm applying it on my lip here uh, so yeah all right so here we have the liquid lip of unwrap me and this color is beautiful it's actually deeper than I expected definitely deeper than the first shade super pretty so gorgeous I feel like although they are definitely similar the liquid lips tend to be a little bit darker than the lip liners at least so far um, so even though they have the same name it's not like the same exact shade at least from what I'm seeing um, so I think they're definitely different enough to have both of them but obviously uh, you don't need both of them I think that if you're a lip liner person you should get the lip liners and if you're a liquid lipstick person you should get the liquid lipsticks but you don't need both necessarily unless you're just a collector like me <laughs> but the liquid lipsticks are definitely opaque enough that you don't need a lip liner they're also uh, the wand is nice and precise so you can get a nice line without a lip liner in my opinion I think that lip liner makes it a little bit easier when you're you know messing with the edges of your lips but I don't think that you need both like I think they are work beautifully like separately and I don't think that you necessarily need both of them because of how pigmented the liquid lip is and how good the applicator is if that makes sense so so far I am very impressed with both of these shades the next one the next two is where I get nervous because they're like super super dark <laughs> so we are gonna move on to the shade flannel next this is the point in the video where my application starts going down the toilet <laughs> but here is the third shade which is called flannel we're venturing into the vampy world this is definitely very cool toned deep red color almost like a berry I would say 
uh, super pretty. I know it's looking messy around the corners, but once I apply the liquid lip, I think it'll look better. So now we're gonna go in with the liquid lipstick in the shade Flannel, which looks like a super deep, like berry red kind of color when I swatch it here. Here we have the shade Flannel. Once again, please ignore the application. Don't judge the color based on the application. <laughs> I am not a dark lip pro. Um, but this color is so pretty, honestly. It's it's intense, but it's not to the point where I don't feel comfortable. Like, I could definitely wear this out in public, especially if I had, like, mascara on. I know it's kind of hard to judge with, like, no mascara on, but I think that would take away a little bit of the intensity. But, oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> this is so pretty. I... I love it. I, I didn't think that I was going to like all these colors on myself, but I really do love it. This is stunning. So now we're going to move on to the final shade, which is the deepest of them all. And this one is called Stocking. And this one almost looks like a purple, like a dark, dark purple. This is definitely the deepest one so far. So I'm going to scrape my lips <laughs> and get this off. And then I'll show you guys the final color. My lips could use some help. I'm going to have to do a lip mask or something after this because holy crap. Okay, so once again, we're going to ignore the application and just focus on the color. Uh, when applying this, the formula definitely was drier and a little bit harder to blend. Like it was like, it kind of dragged drug dragged I don't know um on my lips a little bit more than the other ones and it made it kind of harder to apply but like I said I don't know if that's like just this shade or um because the cap was like off and it dried out when it was um being shipped to me uh but I just thought I would mention that my lips look so bad I'm hoping they don't look as bad on camera but like up close I'm like Oh my god. So uh, this is the shade. What is it again? I already forgot. It is called Stocking. Also, these stain. <laughs> these like liquid lips and lip liners and stuff definitely stain. I have it all over my hands. Uh, so now we're going to go into the liquid lip and we'll see how deep this is. Oh gosh, I'm scared. Oh boy, this is dark. Okay, so I know the application isn't perfect. I tried to go around with concealer, but it's actually quite a bit lighter than my foundation, so it looks a little bit odd, but hopefully it's okay. I'm gonna have to fix it um, because taking this off is gonna be very difficult, and then we still have these to swatch. So here is the final shade. Once again, this one is called Stocking. Now this one, I feel a little, a little uneasy about just like comfort wise with the color and myself but it is still really pretty and it's really deep and for being such a deep color it's very even and smooth and there's no like patchiness or splotchiness or anything it's very like consistent and very pigmented so uh, if you like the color I think that you will love this liquid lipstick so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next category of product which is the lip lacquer and I have these here. These are these Sweet Glaze Lip Lacquers. They are $18 each, and there are four shades. It says the best of liquid lipstick and gloss in one. High impact color with a gorgeous high shine finish. I'm really excited about this uh, formula, and there are four shades. Let me go ahead and pull these out so that I can show you guys. You can see the colors here and I will do a close-up of the packaging as well. Here is what the packaging looks like, and here is what the wand looks like. Oh, it looks like a pretty thick gloss. So I'm going to, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off, and then we will do these swatches, and then we will finish the video off with these guys right here, which are the shimmer top coats. So I touched up around my mouth with some foundation and we are going to move on to these guys which once again are the lip lacquers. This one is in the shade Gumdrop. This is a super pigmented looking gloss like the description said lipstick and gloss kind of hybrid type thing. So let's go ahead and check this one out. This is a really pretty color from what I can tell and I think this is the deepest one actually I figured we would finish off 
with the lightest one because I think that's the one that I'm gonna like the best and then I'll just wear that one throughout the rest of the video while we try on the eyeshadows. I just have to stop here and say that these smell absolutely freaking fantastic. Oh my god. They smell like cotton candy. Straight up cotton candy. This smells so good. This is like the best smelling liquid lip or lip product that I've ever experienced in my life. Oh my god. It smells so good. It smells just like cotton candy. So once again, here we have the shade Gumdrop. I'm obsessed. I love this formula. So pretty. I want more shades. Please, Jacqueline, come out with more shades of this. Next, we have the shade Ginger. This is such a pretty color. And if you guys see any weird coloring around the edges of my mouth, that's just because my mouth is stained. Um, but this is super pigmented. Like, you wouldn't know that my lips were stained under this. I will go ahead and swatch it here. It's definitely more of like a brown color compared to the first shade, which has more red in it, but this is gorgeous. Like, I don't usually like warmer toned lips on myself, but I think that this one looks really pretty, and I feel like ginger is a good description because it reminds me of like a gingerbread cookie almost. So, uh, yeah, beautiful color, beautiful formula, super high shining glossy. I'm obsessed. This next shade is called Cider, and this is a really pretty color. It's actually similar undertone to the previous shade, but definitely quite a bit lighter. Um, this is really pretty, super, super pretty. I think I actually like the previous one a little bit better, just because this, I feel like, looks a little bit like more striking on my skin tone. Um, but it's still a beautiful color, and if you like a warm toned, like medium kind of I don't even know how else to describe this. <laughs> if you like this kind of color, this is beautiful. And I love the shine that this formula has. Now, the last lip product that we have to try on is in the shade Cookies. And oh my god, my like voice, that was kind of aggressive. I'm sorry. Let's try that again. This is in the shade Cookies. <laughs> and this is like a pinky nude looking one. And oh my goodness, you guys, this is my favorite one. Yes, 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 yes. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this and then we will move on to the eye products. All right, so here is that last shade. So pretty, so freaking pretty. I am obsessed. This one is my absolute favorite shade that I tried on today and it smells so good. My lips are kind of like red and raw from like rubbing off so many swatches so i can only imagine how this would look when my lips were like normal <laughs> but i still think this looks gorgeous once again here are the swatches of the lip lacquers super pretty super shiny i love them so now we're going to move on to the final product in the collection which are these these are the uh, what is this? Glaze Over Shimmer Top Coat. These retail for $26. There are six shades, and it says, with pure pearl pigments, this buildable water-based shadow can top off any look with a subtle sparkle or a full-on glassy sheen. So these are top coats. I'm going to get rid of these swatches. We are going to swatch all six of these, and I might throw on a shade or two of, like, matte shadow, um, I just actually filmed a video using the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette today, so depending on what shades we have in here, I might throw on a couple of these mattes, or I have some other ones that I can choose as well if I feel like I want something a little more cool toned. So here is the packaging on the little eyeshadow toppers. Super cute frosted glass bottom with the metallic silver top. And here is what they look like. This one is called Tinsel, and it's a really pretty color. It's kind of like a, looks like a taupe-ish color, so I'm gonna try. <laughs> it's harder to do this. Look at that, holy crap. With my nails, it's hard to get in there. Um, but oh my goodness, you guys. <gasps> look at that. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh, there's so much like little shimmer in there. Wow, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all of these and then I'll pick one to one or two to play with on the eyes and we will wrap up 
today's video. So we did have a bit of an accident with this one. Um, I'm not really too sure what happened here, but it like stuck to the lid. Like it all came out and stuck to the lid. So this one got a little bit messy. Um, but I do have all of these swatches here and oh my God. Oh my gosh, you guys. These are so beautiful. I had to like get up close so that it would focus. But look at how glittery and shimmery. Oh my god, this looks so gross. <laughs> look at how glittery and shimmery these look. Oh my gosh. So freaking pretty. I will say I'm a little bit confused. I'm confused because in this promo picture, her eyes are like straight up like smoky silver. Like where <laughs> where is that i don't know um i thought there would be like a super smoky silver one but all of these have like a warmth to them so i'll read you the names from top to bottom so this top one here is called tinsel the second one is more of like a pinky color this one is so pretty this is called glassy then we have north star which is like a brown the next one is called icicle which is similar to north star but definitely a bit lighter then we have this one here which is called glisten that's like that first like deeper color and then the deepest one is the one where we had the little accident and that one is called frozen okay so i just threw on a little bit of eyeshadow i used the shades just barely and good vibes from the new divine neutrals palette which is the morphe and jaclyn hill collaboration and now i'm gonna go into i think hmm two these two uh these two eye toppers so the first one is called north star i'm gonna attempt to apply this with a brush and see how it goes they do have a bit of like moisture to them so hopefully i can like scoop some onto my brush all right let's see how this looks oh my goodness this is so pretty. I'm going to zoom you guys in. Okay, so I think I'm just going to try to go in with my finger. I have to learn how to do my makeup with nails again. <laughs> but look at how pretty that is. It's so sparkly and it's like micro fine shimmer. So I'm going to focus this on the center of my eye. Oh my gosh. And then we'll go in with the lighter one, which is called Icicle. And I'll focus that on the inner portion of my lid. But this is looking so pretty. They definitely feel wet when I'm applying them as well. Which is an interesting <laughs> like sensation. Um, so now I'm going to go into Icicle. And I think I'll probably have to try a brush for this one. Just so I can get in the corner. It's a little bit more difficult to apply with a brush. Just because it's like hard to like get it to stick to the brush. But, oh my goodness, you guys, look at how pretty that is. That is so freaking pretty. So, here is what the eye toppers look like. They kind of blended together, but they are so pretty. I love how sparkly they are, and I love how fine the sparkle is, so that it looks, like, so insanely shimmery. If I had to pick, like, a top three, I would probably pick these three, <laughs> the three middle ones. Um the like pinkish one is so stunning so um yeah i safe to say i'm obsessed they look so sparkly and fun on the eyes and i definitely think they're best applied with a finger uh it just was a little bit more difficult with my brush just because like i said it's hard to like get the product to adhere to the brush without like scraping into the product if that makes sense i'm gonna go ahead and finish the makeup off with some mascara um if i can find it <laughs> once i find my mascara i'm gonna put it on and then we'll come back for final thoughts all right you guys so here is the finished makeup and that was my review first impressions review of the entire jaclyn hill holiday collection and overall i think it was oops a pretty fantastic collection i think there's a lot in this collection which i feel like you don't always see for holiday collections i feel like this is a pretty large one uh which i'm here for so uh overall i think my makeup turned out really nice if i look up close to my skin 
Um, I can definitely see a difference in the finish of my foundation. I don't know if it's going to be as easy to tell on camera, but this side of my face looks so much better. <laughs> like this side looks just like a little bit drier and cakier. And then the side with her primer oil, honestly, it just looks a little bit more hydrated, a little bit more natural and it looks really nice. I mean, both sides look fine. I really like that foundation. Um, but I can definitely see, especially like in my cheek area, I can definitely see a difference in finish of my foundation so if you guys enjoy a hydrating primer i think this is a good one and i can't you know speak for how long it makes my makeup last but i've had this on for quite a while it's been probably a couple hours since i started filming and that was the first thing that i did so so far so good as far as it comes to the primer i actually like it a lot more than i expected i was expecting my makeup to be a messy crazy like disaster <laughs> but it actually looks really nice and it wasn't too oily and i feel like it did soak up into my skin some which is really nice Next, we had the lip liners, which I think were really, really nice, especially the first three. That last one had a little bit of a weird formula, but you guys know the drill with that. Um, but these were super pigmented, velvety soft, so, so creamy, and I think the colors were just beautiful. Uh, same with the liquid lipsticks. These do dry down matte, so something to keep in mind. I don't think that you need both of these. Like, I think you could pick one or the other and you would be more than okay. Um, but if you guys like wearing lip liner and liquid lip then i think these are a really nice combo but you don't need both of them to have like the color range if that makes sense uh if i had to pick a preference i actually think i'd like the lip liners a little bit better just because it's like a little bit more of like a natural finish uh even though it's like bright red <laughs> lipstick um but if i were to like see myself wearing these um I feel like I would either wear the lip liner or the liquid lip and not necessarily both of them at the same time. But that's just my personal preference. I think all of the shades were really pretty. The deepest shade was a little bit much for me. That was stocking and that's just my personal preference if you like deeper shades. Like I think it's a beautiful color. I just personally don't gravitate to like a super super deep vampy like purpley red very often so yeah i feel like this will be my least used color but it's still super pretty um i'm honestly obsessed with the lip lacquer formula especially the shade cookies this is the best shade everybody you need this one this one right here this is what i have on my lips it looks a little bit messy but again that's just because my lips are stained and like around my mouth is stained from wiping off my lip swatches but this is so so good like it's beautiful i'm obsessed you need this <laughs> the palette the palette is so nice you can still see my blush like do you see how intense that is still definitely is a long wearing blush i can tell you that a lot of blushes i'll apply within 30 minutes they're gone like it's like they were never there this is definitely still full on pigment and i think the highlighters are really nice as well especially this middle shade i love that color i feel like swatching them was a little bit awkward but applying them with a brush was really nice and a little bit goes a long way with all three of these products i definitely think this is a really really nice palette like i'm gonna be using this a ton this upcoming season and after that i'm sure <laughs> um and then finally we have the eye toppers which are so pretty i love eye toppers i love anything glittery anything shimmery obviously and these are really pretty i will say i am a little bit disappointed that there wasn't like a straight up silver one like i thought there would be based on like the photos in the collection i thought there was gonna be like a smoky gray or silver and they all were like kind of like a brown undertone like they had warmth to them even though they were all pretty and the pink one oof, i am obsessed with that pink one i was gonna wear that one but i was like i always go with the pink option so let me try something else uh but i think these were super fun as well and they are so sparkly without being like chunky glitter like it's the finest glitter which just like adds to the shimmer because there's like so many more opportunities for the light to like reflect off of the eye topper I'm obsessed. I am obsessed with this eyeshadow. Um, I wish that I didn't just get nails though. 
<laughs> because it makes it a little bit more difficult to get the product on but I definitely would recommend applying it with your finger or I was thinking you know those little sponge tip applicators that like <laughs> everyone used to use like before makeup brushes were really a thing um, I feel like that might work really well with a product like this just because it could like adhere to the little sponge tip a little bit better I don't know just a thought someone try that out and let me know how it is uh, but yeah overall I love this collection let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from the collection remember it launches on October 17th which is this Sunday I'm not sure what time uh, I would assume I would assume like 10 or 11 a.m. Uh, Pacific but I could be wrong so double check with their Instagram I don't know that they've updated yet but I will go over the bundle prices with you guys I went over all of the individual prices of the products but for bundles we have the ultimate bundle which includes all 20 items from the limited edition holiday collection and this bundle retails well yeah it retails for $385 so if you want this whole entire thing $385 but it is a $452 value meaning if you bought every single item individually it would cost you $452 but if you buy the bundle you're saving about 70 bucks ish uh, so yeah, I'll, ha I'll copy and paste all the prices and descriptions down below in case, you know, I say it too fast or whatever. Next we have the Sweet Glaze Bundle, which has all four of the lip lacquers in it. This will be $60, but the value is $72. So these bundles are nice if you plan on purchasing like multiples of products. Then we have the Holiday Lip Lover Bundle, which has all four of the Pelt Spoken Liquid Lips, plus all four of the lip liners, plus all four of the lip lacquers. So if you want all 12 lip products, you can buy the Holiday Lip Lover Bundle for $190, which is a $224 value. Then we have the Holiday Pelt Spoken Bundle, which is the four Pelt Spoken Liquid Lips with their four liquid liners, and this will retail for $125, but the value is $152. And then the last bundle is the Glaze Over Bundle, which has all six of the shimmer top coats. Um, and this will retail for $130 or, uh, yeah, $130, but the value is $156. So I know I just like, <laughs> you know, screamed a bunch of numbers at you, but like I said, I will copy and paste everything down below in the description box. All the information I'm getting is from the Jacqueline Cosmetics website. So that was today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I know this is a late video. It's already like almost 10 o'clock. This video is going to be going up at midnight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, uh, anyway, I got to go edit this now. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. I love you all so, so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day or night <laughs> and I will see you in the next one. Bye.